Hey guys, Christian here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and we are back in our super mines. Why? Because of this. I put those blocks there to... Oh, what was it? There's like water there or something? There's a lot of water. But, um, pretty much through that gateway right there. You can hear him, I think. Skeleton! Ah, all three drops. Skeleton dungeon! Goodness. This is okay. I think skeleton dungeons are one of the most. Ooh, I was sorry to wear I didn't see when I got that. That's when I was breaking some fossil rocks. Yeah, so I was mining and uh, I found all this. Yeah, we're going to break this. I know I could turn have turned that into an XP farm, but I don't really want to. Yeah, so I don't think that's supposed to be happening. But I think you still do get lightning. <laughs> I um I didn't know that. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> Something was just like do do. Yeah, but let's see what we got in these chests. Music disc. Mm, we a name tag. That'll be nice. What? Scare gems. And I think this is the new music disc they added in. I don't think it actually works at the moment, but it's still a cool find. But a scarab gem. That's what's nice. Ooh, we should mine up all this um, mossy cobble. We can probably use this as a decoration block for some sort of exhibit later. I think... Oh, we're, since we're... I was going to say, maybe if we find another dungeon, we can use it for a mob spawner. Like, XP farm. But I realize, in this area, there's just so many um, mine shafts that... It won't be... It'll be pretty easy to get a spawner going, because... We can just use one of the spider ones. Which will be pretty... Pretty darn easy. I'm not sure why the f particle effect is still there. It's kind of weird. Oh, also, I mined up all the obsidian we'll need for our um, nether portal. We're not going to go to the nether this episode, though. You know, I'm just going to do this because I don't know how. What? Hmm. Must have turned my op off. Well. I guess we'll just do this. Boom. Now yeah, we can never anyway. Actually, um, I'll see why it's an op to me real quick, so I'll cut till then. Nah, never mind. I won't. I think I'll just play without being opt. Seven diamonds. Pretty nice. Found a lot more dino bones. And actually, let's see if I can find the rest of those. Oh, yeah, two concrete. Things and get rid of all that and put in all my dinosaur bones. And we can move them to here. We should probably sleep. Um, let's see, what was it? Oh, there was some biofiles left in the analyzer, I guess, from last episode and. I haven't checked it yet, and we're going to wait till that battle fossil is done to check it, but I think I know what I'm going to do. We. Ooh, a melon. We can use that for um, dodos when we get them. We, my friends, are going to make... Oh, does that have to be a new pickaxe? Wait. Oh, yes. I do believe. Um, where's my gold? I'm not pos 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure. If you, you can use any pickaxe, and it will be as strong as diamond, so. I think we shall use um, this. No, you, you, it's not use wasting diamonds over it, but I mean. 
that would be pretty nice. So we can get rid of all our gold. Let's see. Let's make a gold pickaxe and then we'll turn it into what we need it to be. Where's my gold? How do I? Oh, there's my gold. Ah. Maybe I'll make some gold armor someday just for decoration. Yeah, so I believe we do that and scare a pickaxe. Two maybe just has it just on there. Why did you do that? You could have used it for a T-Rex. They're so rare. Yeah, I do realize that, but to me, an infinite diamond pickaxe sounds a lot better than a tame T-Rex. Just saying. I mean, think about it. I assume you're all thinking about it right now. Pretty awesome, I have to say. Uh, what are we doing? Let's see if we can get rid of any more of this. Nope. Let's go check the analyzer and see if it's still running. Nope. Ah, I think that's... I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's from last time. Sweet, we have an Allosaur. That's the one dinosaur we did not get last season. But we've also got Dilophosaurus, Plesiosaurus, Hippocamp, and a Spiny. Very, very nice. Oh, I had two more chests. I'm going to put those in. Because we are very quickly running out of space in this place. Oh, yeah, we can just do that. Get rid of everything I don't need. Yeah, we can keep that on the string. We'll keep the axe. Um, I have nine levels, so... Unbreaking one for the diamond pickaxe. Um, oh, actually, we could go kill some cows and get some bookcases. I got a ton of wood. And I started working... Yeah, I made a tree farm over there. Well, I started making one. Let's see. I know we had one book. Got tons of wood. Um, leather. Sugar cane. I think I had a sugar cane farm going somewhere. I'm not sure. So, oh, paper. Books. Let's actually get the weed out. Um, breed the cows. And that way we can get more leather. Oh, we only have three cows? Hmm. Why won't this cow work? Strange. Anyway, what did I come in here for? Oh, oh yeah, we can actually kill that one, this one cow, I guess. Now we have no cows. Why is this thing all of a sudden just striking lightning down? <laughs> it's so scary. This is the exact reason I didn't use that sword for so long. Ah! Why? Why is it doing that all of a sudden? Oh, snap. We need to repair that place. But I mean, good grief, it's never done that before. And there's probably more sugar cane somewhere else, so. But I mean, seriously, I've never had to worry about it before, and now, all of a sudden, boom, crack a boom, crack a boom. Lightning everywhere. Everything is dying. No more using that sword on cows. Good grief. We have a singular cow over here. Um, we are going to have to worry about cows now. I'm still just amazed that actually happened. Not every day suddenly divine lightning strikes down on your cows and all of them suddenly get roasted. <laughs> I didn't even get the drops from most of them. Wow. Uh, let's see what what can we make in here. Plesiosaur it is. 
Oh wait, I actually have a lot more DNA back at the house. I forgot. We have DNA in here. Let's get... Oh, I actually made the Pockies and the Compies already, so... Also, the Elasmatherium. Mm, getting fancy now. Two arm bones. I don't actually think the arm bones have a use yet. Which is kind of weird. Um, I guess I'll make some planks. We can make one bookcase. I'm still just shocked this thing is suddenly striking lightning. Oh, there's no librarian in here. Oh my gosh, I hope to God. Man! It's always me who messes up like that. I forgot it, it has to be one block away. Um, we'll just line that up, and we'll make a temporary place for it out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I don't want any torches to be near it. I forgot torches will um counteract the effects of the these. I'm trying to see if we can find anything higher than level 6 or 7. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess. I think one book adds a level. So now we can get level 7 enchants or something like that. We're going to need a lot more stuff before we can get the good ones. Which is what I want for this. Um. So. I guess this episode we are going to put copies in. Pumpy episode. Um, yeah. I'm still in shock about all the lightning. That scared me. Ugh. I mean, it could obviously be worse as in... I could be hitting something near a dinosaur, and suddenly this thing strikes, strikes down the divine lightning, and we don't have that dinosaur anymore. That would be really bad. I think these are going to be green compies. I'm not sure though. I actually don't have my Dinopedia on me. How do I not have a Dinopedia on me? I always have it on me. I guess except for this episode. Knocking off today. Um, wait, there's no Dinopedia. We actually don't have a lot of herbivores. I actually think the Packy is our only one. Which I don't like. I like... We need to get more herbivores in the park. We can also try and get the Elasma the, the other Elasmatherium in. Then we could have two. Two Elasmatheriums. Okay, they're almost done. That's what I like about Compies. They hatch really, really quickly. And this thing is so cool. Let's go F5 and see it. You know, it's actually hard to tell the difference sometimes between a scarab gem pickaxe and a scarab gem hoe. Both of them have like the same exact texture, except I think the hoe is a lot thinner. So it's kind of hard to tell the difference. And down goes the sun. We swing it around. Seventy something percent. You know, I think I might start redoing some of the cages. I want the park to look nicer. But I also don't want to bore people with building. Ooh, building's actually probably not as boring as it is to watch me mine forever, so. We'll stop the mining episodes, guys. We'll stop those. I promise. No more mining. For an entire episode. We will now just... Mm, I want to use it because it's my only weapon, really. But I also don't want to use it because... Oh! Uh, 
tiny, tiny little compy. That's the problem with the baby compies. They're so small. It's really hard to find out where they are. And keep them from escaping. They're so tiny. It's kind of funny. But, um, that's that. Let's go to bed, and then we'll head over to the Elasmatherium cage. Um, I could put the mammoth in there, I realize, and I would gladly do it, but I don't think you can move the mammoth, which is why I won't. I want to be able to move everything. Oh, my levels. Mr. Rhino. Oh, creeper. I wonder if getting an enchantment caused um, my story to suddenly strike lightning. Ah, more creepers! I forgot I didn't light this area up. Uh, why didn't I light it up? I'll grab some torches from the house and then... Why does it keep striking lightning? <laughs> Please stop. We're getting rid of it. I can't handle it striking lightning anymore. Sharpness, why are you betraying me? Ugh. Oh, we're going to have to check and make sure that it didn't get hurt. Oh, he did. Oh. Poor guy, he lost six parts of health. We're going to have to drag the mobs out into the water. And I'll have to kill him with an axe. Okay, things that weird me out. How can a creeper swim? It's got such a tall body and such minuscule legs. How does it swim? Run, little Lasmatherium, run! I think there's another creeper on the island. Ugh. Come on, come on. We're gonna go out into the ocean so you can't blow it up. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of creepers. There we go. I almost wonder if I could have used it on the Elasmatherium. That probably could have been helpful. But alas, I didn't think of that. Let's see. Does he have an info page? Hmm, he does. I think there's either a cave nearby or a cave right under this exhibit. Oh, yeah, torch time. Torches, 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 torches. I like torches. Um, I don't want more creepers on this place. We're gonna. Put many, many torches down. Place all torches. We got them all over the island. And we'll get this little inlet as well. That should be good. No more creepers. And one more there. Perfect. Where's the sheep? What's really going to annoy me is if the sheep escapes. Where is it? I lost the sheep. Okay, I haven't.
This is a code white. We have a loose elasmatherium. Why is everything suddenly going wrong? Why? Why does Minecraft suddenly hate me? I mean, it's loved me so much. We got... Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Back it away from an edge. We don't want it to... Have the baby suffocate in the swamp. Because that would be bad. I don't have my wheat. I don't have my wheat. I don't have my wheat. Wow. How is everything this episode going so wrong? I mean, it started out well. We got a scarab gem. Now we've destroyed an entire cow farm. Our elasmatherium has escaped and is almost dead. We had multiple creepers on the island. On this little part of the island. Where is he? He's over there. I hope he doesn't jump on stuff and like lose health and fall damage. If he dies, I'm gonna be mad. But I guess if he does die, we'll still have a replacement for him. Which is kinda sad to think that we'd ever actually need to replace him. No back away from all blocks. We don't need to lose this baby. Let's just say, I tr on one of my worlds, I tried to hatch a baby elasmatherium from a sheep, and it walked right next to a wall right as it did it, and the baby suffocated in the wall. Oh yes, even better area. Have the baby here. Ah! No! Don't go near walls! No! Bad, bad sheep! Oh, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Uh, yes! It didn't die! Hello, little buddy. You're so cute. Now we're going to go get the big one. <laughs> right there. Aw, oh, man. How am I actually going to get him in? Time to get some stuff. We only need our whip. You know, I think before next episode, between episodes, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and work on the world for maybe like an hour or two. Get everything to look nicer. And maybe I'll get prepared for some more stuff, like... I mean, we've got a whole ton of dinosaurs, actually. None of them that I really want to put in yet, but we do have a lot of dinosaurs ready, so. Maybe we could start preparing for cages. And how much health does he have? Oh, he only lost one health point. And jumped off the fence. I hope we can actually swim him around the island. That's what I'm hoping for. Or maybe he'll be buggy and not swim. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, come on, come on, we're gonna push you. We're gonna push you up onto the land. Come on. I knew I shouldn't have trusted this hill. It is an evil hill. No! Baby! Get back on the island! <laughs> Why? Uh, how did he even get on the fence? More wood. I was saving this wood for, an a for another project. But, it's been used for pretty much everything in this episode good grief give me a zombie uh, you know this one's brown but I wonder if by next episode he'll have turned white just like the other one did okay come on baby 
Um, I actually want to keep him out of tight corners. Because if he grows up, I think he could potentially glitch in the block and get stuck. Um, let's try with a big one over here. Same DD with the baby. And uh, there we go. Ooh, going one second and out of there. Yeah. We're going to finish that cage up because that is a very bad cage. But I guess since we can ride them, it'll be a lot easier to do stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think we'll end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I will be doing a lot in off screen between episode this episode and the next one, so Oh that's the torch. I was wondering why there was burning in the the lab. Yeah, so I'll do a bit of work on the island, get things looking nicer, better set up and established, and um then we'll come back and have some fun. Until then, thank you guys for watching and peace.